earth fault latch feature. First, we want to log on using your password. I'm not going to tell you what that is because people are putting comments in here and saying you shouldn't be doing that. So you should know what your password is. And after we log on, we're going to hit menu and I'm going to hit previous until I get to diagnostic functions. Then I'm going to hit enter. And I have the first one is earth fault latch and I'm going to hit next. Until I get to earth fault diagnostics. Then I'm going to press enter. It's going to say location search. That's what I want. So I'm going to press enter again. Okay, it's going to ask me for card one power supply. I could probably say next, but the, we only have a card one in this system, so that's the only one we can use. And we're going to press enter. We're going to include auxiliary power circuits. And we're going to press enter. Now as you'll see the, the panel is starting to perform its diagnostics. And it will go through this for a few minutes until it detects the earth ground. Now, if this is a 4100ES or 4100U head end upgrade to a 4100 plus, this will not work with the 4100 plus components. It will only work with the 4100U components or the 4100ES components. And it doesn't always work every time, but it's, it's a nice thing to try because it will save you some time um, if it does work. If it doesn't work, then you have to do it the old-fashioned way. Okay, it's come up, and it says card 36, flex 50 amplifier, 36-2-0. Okay, now we'll go to card 36, which happens to be right here. And we'll remove... Circuit number two. Oh, and by the way, there'll be a lot of troubles on the panel. This thing's going to take a little bit to settle down after it went through the search because it basically disconnected every circuit through the whole panel, checking for the ground, so it has to reconnect. So we have 38 troubles, and they're counting down. In the meantime, we've removed our circuit with the ground fault on it, and we'll just take our meter and verify that. We're putting the lead on ground and checking on the power supply. Yep, 16 volts, 13 volts, that looks pretty good. Put on our own scale and on the negative wire I have six ohms so that circuit right there has the ground fault on it and what are we down to 30 well we got a ways to go sometimes I like to do let's go in here and do a uh, hardware reset and kind of kind of speeds it up a little bit for us sometimes oh look at that the fire pump decided to start running that's a good thing well in the meantime these troubles will go down and, and we're going to grab these wires here and we're going to go out in the field and trace it out and find out where it's coming from.